And a man once hailed a hero in Port Orange has been arrested again for stealing money and impersonating a contractor. He first made local headlines last year when the charges were first discovered. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. Steve Parker was a well-known name in Port Orange in the fall of 2022 after he helped people rebuild in the aftermath of Hurricane Ian. He was an even bigger name once he was arrested for defrauding families in the area. It also turns out he was never a contractor. Now there are more cases against him. News 6's Molly Reed has the latest on the investigation and how the families are trying to recover. When we did this story back in October, Port Orange police and investigators here told us that they arrested Steve Parker for stealing from one family, but then said more residents were starting to come forward after hearing the news, saying that he had done the same to them. Now, after months of investigating, the state attorney's office tells me Parker is now facing charges in two more cases. What were things like at the time when Steve Parker left? When Steve left, it was still a disaster area. Nancy Morf Fabian is still unable to live in her home 15 months after Hurricane Ian flooded it. Her daughter Gwen Wakeman was the first person to report Steve Parker to the police last year. She says her parents gave him $74,000 in FEMA funding just for a little work to get done. None of it came back. Steve offered nothing. <laughs> And, uh, you know, FEMA's not going to come back and give us some money just because a contractor took it from us. Parker was arrested in October. Then on Friday, court records show he went back to jail. He's now facing charges in two additional cases. One where a woman says she gave him $12,000 for a deposit. Another where a person gave him 3000 bucks, all for work that never got done. Investigators told us during these schemes, this Steve Parker was using the license and identification of another Steve Steve Parker, who is an actual contractor in South Florida. Before his arrest, Parker was hailed a local hometown hero for fixing up senior citizen and veterans homes damaged in the 2022 hurricane. He claimed to be doing it with his own money. We actually met Parker once at a veterans homecoming after he rebuilt his house and another when our team honored him with a getting results award. Everything that he touched had to be redone. So not only did we lose the first set of the first funds we are now just about maxed out with that in the second funds of having to redo everything. Parker did bond out of jail after he was arrested again on Friday. I did reach out to his attorney to see if they had any comment or statements on these latest cases, but at this time I still have not heard back. In Port Orange, Volusia County, I'm Molly Reed getting results, News 6.